Today we'll learn how to create this really cool artwork in Photoshop really easy and quickly, so let's do it. I will start with this blank piece of paper and I will go with Ctrl Command I to invert the background to have a black one. And then I will create a new layer, name it Smoke, because obviously I will create the smoke using my Cloud Dust Smoke brushes that you can get it on my website for just $1, the link is down there in the description, the whole set, or you can make it your own, I have a tutorial for that, Leave. I will leave the link also down there in the description. So this is it, really simple and easy, create a smoke and also a little bit with the black. I will go with the corners to be a little bit darker here. Maybe this down part also. And I can always switch between black and white and play with this however I want. This is the beauty of the smoke. So for now I will leave it like, like this, okay. And uh, now let's create an eye. So, and now I will use the lasso tool, L for a lasso tool, and I will just draw an eye, something like this. Maybe like that, like really cool mean eye. I'll fill it with white. We can, if you don't like it, you can go Control or Command T, maybe warp it a little bit, do whatever you want. So, I'm just showing you that there are a lot of options that you can do here, but I really like my eye here. Maybe I can use regular brush, B for brush and just go with hard brush, smaller, something like that, white and maybe just make, make it more pointy here, like that, who knows. But for this example, this is perfectly fine. I will make a copy of this, Control or Command J, Control, Command T, right click, flip horizontal and move it somewhere maybe here and select both of them and I will go with, let's see, maybe even this one even further away like that. Select both of them, Control E or Command D on a Mac. I have eyes here. So this is it. I will convert it to smart object and now I will make it smaller. Something like this looks cool, maybe even smaller like they're far away down there in the mist. And this is cool. And now we will add another element here to have this really cool scene. And I will add these chains and this looks amazing. And now I will go to the chains. I will select a new layer, add smoke here and fill it with again with the smoke, but only here affecting the chain to make the impression that the chains are going back down there in the mist. So I'll use also dark one, dark color, like that, bright, dark, and I will blend it bright, dark, yeah, like this, see? And this is cool, maybe a little bit dark here, maybe something in between. And this looks cool, like the chains are coming from the mist. Let's see, yeah, something like that. And maybe you're wondering where I got these chains. So, well, I made the chains, it's really simple and easy. By the way, I created a new channel, it's called 3D Not 2D, where I teach people how to create 3D elements, like chains, for example. This is really simple and easy tutorial. You can watch it at my channel right there and support me there if you want to learn Blender, like 3D software and expand your skills even more. So the link for the channel is down there in the description. And it's really simple and easy to create this kind of chain to follow any path that you want. This is like a three minutes job if you know what you're doing or if you're doing this for the first time, maybe 10 minutes to create something, something like this chain. And then I just model these spikes here just for fun, but basically, you can do whatever you want when you are uh, in a 3D software and I really love it. So this is it. Let me see, maybe I will add a layer mask right here and just mask out a little bit of this. Maybe with this soft brush like that. And here maybe I will just go with this soft brush and add, add like that and maybe mask out a little bit like that, like that. Perfect. I love this. And now I will add the glow to the eyes. There are several ways how you can do that. I have a whole playlist how you can add a glow to the object in Photoshop. You can check it out. And uh, here I will show you just really quickly the manual way. Just create a new layer, go to linear dodge blending mode, 
use soft brush and because these uh, chains are lit with uh, red light that's the plan in the front I want my eyes to be like reddish glowing eyes and they will emit the light that will actually lit in the, the chain something like that and then go with another layer the same blending mode and so on and so forth check out my playlist if you don't know how but here for this tutorial i will use oniric amazing plugin for adding realistic glow in photoshop and it's really simple and easy with just one click see i already have a glow i can just add a color and it will add that reddish tone orange tone maybe a little bit like this i like it and i will just tweak it a little bit maybe go with the threshold a little bit up let's see maybe even more up 0.3 let's see seems fine maybe just a little 0.33 let's see about these chains right here so yeah i want a little bit of glow here so before and after see before and after i really like it press save and in a matter of few seconds we have this okay we are almost done now let's create a silhouette of this monster so this is all again simple and easy i will go to below the eyes name this monster and i will use my custom made cloud dust smoke brush use black tone and slowly let's make it darker slowly just build monster head some crazy crazy shape Maybe a body here, something like this. Just like a silhouette here. Who knows how this monster look actually. Maybe, maybe like that. Some kind of nightmare monster. Okay right also we need to fix the chain a little bit because it's going to the dark part here so let's go here to the chain and uh, just add that darkness here like that see like that perfect and this looks really really nice we can we can go and play with the monster shape if you want even more whatever you want everything is allowed this should be a silhouette of monster we don't really know how the monster look maybe some horns here what do you think oh, like crazy monster okay we don't know how it actually looks but what we can do here let's undo a few times we can create a layer mask here and also tweak it a little bit if you want but i'm pretty happy with with this result okay and now let's go to the smoke right here i will create a new layer this is smoke number three because this is smoke number two and i will go with the smoke number three and just a little bit change here and there add a little bit darkness to the scene maybe down here also just a little bit and maybe some some bright, bright spots here, maybe 10% opacity and just a little bit like, like that. Perfect, I really like it. And now let's merge everything together. Shift Control Alt E or Shift Command Option in a Mac. Right click, convert to smart object. And now you know the drill, filter, camera filter. And here we will do some tweakings. And this is the final result. 